here all here we are here all of us are and it's about bloody time these were the words of my darling mother when last october sean and i called her to say that we were engaged and she's not wrong it, it's now 12 years almost to the day since sean and i first met at university so sorry for the delay but thank you all for joining us on what is already one of the best and most important days of our lives. Sean has always been a princess to me and how beautiful my princess looks today. She will now become queen to her own royal Shaitan family with her own princes, Monty, Mango and Mojo. Despite having 30 plus years to prepare a father bride speech for my daughter, I am still left standing here today speechless and tearful at how beautiful she looks. <laughs> I can't speak. But today when I walked down the aisle with her, and when I stopped crying, I looked into her eyes and I realised this is one of the proudest moments of my life. And Sean is the most beautiful bride I've seen since her mother 35 years ago. Oh. <laughs> At least I think that's what he written here, mate. Is that right? Sean, you look staggeringly beautiful today. And every other day when you're usually in gym clothes or pajamas or surgical scrubs, covered in fur or worse, <laughs> we all know that you're still gorgeous. You are kind, funny, incredibly hardworking, and even stronger than anyone realizes. There are so many people here today whose lives you've touched and made better, myself among them. You are still, after 12 years, the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't think any amount of preparation can ever leave you feeling ready to give your daughter away. But as a father, if I had to choose a person to hand it to, all I can ask for is the same attributes of my daughter as I value. Integrity, trust, love, and happiness. And just knowing my daughter is loved as much as I love Mary, there's a tissue's gonna come out, and Sean loves us, I know that you bring all those things. But whatever happens, and wherever you go, your mother and I know you'll always have each other's love, and you'll always have ours. We're so lucky to have so many people here that we love so much. They truly wouldn't be the same without each and every one of you. But it's on days like today, these special, important days, that we can pause and take a moment to reflect. To think about where we've come from, the people who helped us along the way, how much they love us, how much we love them. And we can realize that even the little mundane moments can be magical when you're surrounded by the people you love like we are today. So a toast to the thing that makes it all worth it, to love. Ben asked me, do I think that there's true love out there? Do I think that there's that one person out there? I replied that statistically it's highly improbable. But as I looked over to him, I could tell there was, it wasn't the same. And he just looked at me with a half shrug and he just goes, you know what, Dan? I don't know. I think there is. And looking at you and Sean today, I have no doubt that you've proven me wrong yet again. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Ben, today in front of our family and friends, I finally, 12 years later, take you to be my husband. Sean, I give you this ring as a token of my commitment and adventure. Of our constant trust in each other and everlasting love. I love you so much. I love how determined you are 
It inspires me to be a better person. I love how caring you are. It reminds me of how I should treat others. And I love how crazy you are because it makes me look normal in comparison. <laughs> You make me laugh, you make me think, and above all, you make me happy. You are my best friend, my partner in crime, and my favourite hot water bottle, <laughs> even if you are the loudest snorer I know. You are incredibly selfless, and your compassion for others, human and animal, leaves me awestruck. And when you really get going, you have the goofiest laugh I've ever heard. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. I promise to make us laugh, to never let us to go to bed angry and to always say I love you before we go to bed. Even when you eat the strawberry dreams from the box of chocolate roses. <laughs> <laughs>